So I know you, you and I deal with this stuff on a daily basis, but I'm sure you're just as frustrated as I am. I really am. And, you know, I don't know um, how the Republicans in the Senate uh, really can look themselves in the mirror uh, after ever having run um, on such a, a, a strong platform during the election of being pro Second Amendment. And now they're going to let national reciprocity just sit there and not uh, take it to a vote. Uh, Mitch McConnell uh, deserves, uh, I think, a lot of scorn if he holds this up and doesn't take it to a vote. Um, and there's also a lot of misinformation about the fix Nix part of the national reciprocity bill. And uh, Grant, I know you've talked a lot about this. I have too. But I think uh, we as gun owners and pro Second Amendment uh, uh, gun owners out there really need to make sure we're getting the right information out there. You know, as I look at what's going on with the fix Nix bill, and there's a tremendous amount of controversy, many of the controversy is being pushed by bogus talking points. I actually believe it's a fundraising effort. Uh, on some uh, from the right that want to raise money for their groups posing as gun organizations when in fact really they're just trying to rally up uh, a base and get them angry about something they don't need to be angry about. The, the reality is when it comes to the Knicks system, Guy, and, and you know this, is nothing changes with current law over who the prohibited possessors are going to be. Nothing. Now we can talk about the problems with maybe some of the prohibited possessors already in there under law. That's fine to discuss, but we're not changing them. This is not executive orders. This is, and they, they phrase it as Obama style gun control. Obama used his pen and paper to change law through regulation. That is not what is happening here. No, and, and, and you're exactly right. Let's be specific. What, what Obama did is he gave directives uh, both to the Social Security Administration and to the Veterans uh, Administration, um, where when for instance, in, so, in, in Social Security, if somebody appointed um, a representative to receive their benefits, automatically the Social Security Administration was declaring that person incapable of possessing a firearm, reporting that information to NICS with the decision having been made that they can't possess a firearm. The Veterans Administration was doing something similar uh, to veterans who simply had had a diagnosis, for instance, of PTSD with no indication that they were in the somewhat offensive terminology of the statute, uh, mentally defective, um, and, and without any due process, people were losing their Second Amendment rights. They, that, that's what uh, the President Trump has undone. The Fix Nix bill, and this is where the confusion is, does nothing to reinstitute those processes within either Social Security or the Veterans Administration that deprive people of their constitutional rights without due process. This does nothing to, to affect what President Trump does, did in terms of undoing what Obama did to take people's rights away with no due process. That's where a lot of confusion has arisen. All this does is make sure that relevant information gets sent to NICS. It doesn't change who's a prohibit prohibited possessor. And most importantly, it doesn't allow people to lose their rights without due process. That's the misinformation that's being, that's being disseminated out there that's just flat wrong. And I think, in, 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 you nailed it, Grant, I think that some people that portray themselves as being pro-Second Amendment are just on a, a fund, fundraising drive with this.